Valder, how are you doing? Good morning, Chris Trapp. Thank you for joining me here live on the Valder BB Show in Dallas, Texas. Thanks so very much. Oh, you're welcome. Well, I want my audience to know I talked about him on Facebook, but you know him. You knew more than I did. You knew that he paid for Chicago Bears, San Francisco, the Atlanta, the 49ers, a prestigious career. Today he comes to talk about a really important subject. So I think if you listen to him about football, you can listen to him about today. Chris, thanks, and thanks for joining us. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I, it's my joy. You have some important information that you would like for us to know. You're going to share inbounds and out of bounds. What is that? Inbounds and out of bounds. Uh, well, what, what I'm sharing is uh, I have the pleasure to be a part of a, a campaign, a, a new campaign by the American Cancer Society. It's an Advantage Humans campaign. Uh, the campaign is about redefining victory over cancer and, and really showing these emotional journeys, the connection between that, between survivors and caregivers. So uh, we've used different traits, different, uh, different words that, that really bring people together. My word is, is tenacity. Uh, tenacity, this go get it energy, spirit. Uh, but the other words are hope. Uh, the other words are uh, devotion. Uh, anger, uh, courage, hope. And how do you know these words so well? <laughs> how, do, how do I know them? I, I, I think if you've gone through, uh, you know, if you've stood by someone. And so my journey with cancer, why, why am I a part of this campaign, is because I had the chance to stand by my wife. My wife, Keisha, was diagnosed with cancer in December of 2010. Uh, who unfortunately passed in December of 2011. Uh, you know, before she passed, we were able to be married, and, and on that day, we we made a commitment, a commitment to each other, but but also a commitment to the cancer community, uh, a commitment that that definitely emphasizes research, but but uh, another part that really emphasizes life, and uh, that's what this campaign is about, and that's that's why you know why do I know those words? Is you know the, the words are what we lived. I saw courage in my wife every day. I, uh, we held on to hope. Uh, uh, I tried to be devoted and, and be there, uh, show devotion. Uh, and then tenacity was, you know, not just my word, but her word and so many other uh, people's words that are, are dealing with cancer right now. I love to talk to people who know the truth. And I know you know the truth about cancer. I know you know the truth about loving and walking with someone with cancer. What can my audience take away from this? Because I know there are people who are listening who know those words as well as you do. Absolutely. So uh, cancer touches so many, so many people, you know, all, all over the country. And, and, you know, the holidays can be hard. It, it, it can be a tough time. But I think uh, what's important is for us to be honest. You know, so when somebody is, you know, they're saying, what can we do during the holidays? Let's be honest. Let's be honest about what's going on and, and, and know that, it, that, that cancer is there. It is. It's, it's right there. But how can we support somebody that's going through that? You know, there are three things that you can do that, you know, let me, you know, let them know. Let them know that you're there. Uh, don't just talk, but listen to them. Listen to what's, what's going on. Uh, and then make sure to give them a hug. Make sure to, to let them know physically that you are you are there for them. Uh, so I, you know those you know those are those are important. Uh, as a survivor, if, if you're you're kind of going through it and you have some doubts and there's some questions, uh, the American Cancer Society has a 24-hour, seven days a week number. So you know it's important that people are supporting you, but sometimes you need real answers. And so you can go to that. You can call 1-800-227-2345. That's 1-800-227-2345 to get those answers. The American Cancer Society trusted you to bring their message to a, yes. a, a larger world, and so that shows that they, they understand cancer. Yeah. What, can we, what is the one thing you want us to understand about cancer from your perspective? Cancer's real. Cancer's real. And, and we absolutely do have to fight it. And there are some organizations that are leading the way to being able to do it. You can know more about what's happening at American Cancer Society by going to cancer.org. Uh, but really, th that it, it's real. It's, it's, it's not just going away. We're, in, we're improving outcomes. We're, we're finding more cures, but it's not going away. So 
Uh, because it's here, we have to be honest about it, and we've got to support our survivors and love our caregivers and continue the fight for life. Today my guest has been Chris Strath. He's a former NFL player, a husband, and a survivor himself of cancer of someone he loved. Chris, thank you for being my guest today, and thanks for giving such an important message. I really, really appreciate thank that. Thank you. Thank you.